everybody, thanks for tuning in and welcome to the first video of the channel. Um, on this channel we have a 74 Dodge Dart that we've been building for maybe three and a half, four years now. Uh, finally getting along to where it's all coming together for once. A uh, little bit of background on the car. It's a small tire, stock suspension, all steel 74 Dodge Dart, uh, 318 small block. Uh, that's what's going back in. It's a 318. Just bored out a little, so it's basically a 328. Car used to run. It was pretty slow. Uh, it was a bracket car. We street drove it. Uh, drove it everywhere. We got into the 12s with it on nitrous. Um, in fact, we got into the low 13s with nitrous on a two barrel. That was pretty fun. So in today's video, um, we're actually going to be showing getting the heads torqued down, uh, getting the headers wrapped, in our first attempt at trying to get the motor in the car. Now, we ran into a couple issues. Uh, converter would just not go into the crank. We kind of explained that a little bit at the end of the clips, but um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, and if you haven't yet, look us up on Facebook. The car's name is Dirty Casper. Just search Dirty Casper. Um, you will actually see a picture of this in the profile. And yeah, hit that like, hit the follow, and keep up to date with the videos and pictures we post on it. Um, anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Such a snap-on wrench. Huh? Yeah. Very proud of that thing, aren't you? Yes, so. <laughs> Kill me yet. So next time you see me, we'll be putting headers in the car. On the way back to the shop, after second or third time to O'Reilly's, just gotta love it. Every time you think you have everything you need, there's one thing that you don't have. See, we went and bought all the header wrap this morning. Got plenty of it. Probably more than enough. But we forgot these. You know what those are, they're kind of important. Yeah, so without those, the header wrap will not stay onto the header. It'll just kind of, you know, dry up, fall off. So I am now on the way back with 30 of those. So I should not run out for a little bit, at least for this set of headers. Freaking Oklahoma September day. Try to wrap headers in. That's a great idea, huh? Why 
Yeah, those are way too long. Ah! This is what happens when you go to put a bolt in and you don't pay attention. Yeah, you want to get an up close to that? When they say size doesn't matter, it does. <laughs> that punched out the rear main seal. Just now? Almost. It hit the back of the block. Yeah, you can see a mark on the block where I tied it tight. Where'd you go, honey? Damn. Yep. Take a pull back. It's getting stock bolts now. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. Oh, yeah, just a half inch. Call that a skosh? That's a skosh. Smidgen. Smidgen. I like that one. Smidgen. Word of the day. Use it three times in a sentence. How would you say today went? Horribly. Good at first. Oh, good, but. <laughs> Your thumbnail needs to be the wrecking ball on top of the motor. <laughs> I am two down. So, what we have here is a failure to connect. That torque converter there has a snout that is meant to go into a early 70s, mid 70s automatic crank because you know it's a torque converter, it goes in an automatic. That, that crankshaft, right there, that hole right there that goes into the crank, yeah that's, that's where this converter is supposed to line up. Well, it don't fit. We have about a hundredth of an inch difference. It won't connect. Well, Motor's not going in. Normally you can put big things in small holes because they stretch, but this is not the case. So needless to say, <laughs> motor's going back on the on the engine stand. Converter's getting shipped out. Hopefully they can put a new hub on it. If not, well, we're going to go from there. Thanks for watching. Well, now we got our ASC certified mechanic on, on the job site. <laughs> Man, ASCs don't mean shit. <laughs> now things are coming together. 